We have a big update though. Hey guys, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another studio vlog on my channel. I haven't filmed a studio vlog in quite a while, so I'm excited to do that for you guys today. We have a couple new things that are different in the studio that I'm going to walk you through, including some organization, a little bit of an Amazon haul, but ultimately I have a lot to do today down here. I basically said to my husband, like, you're in charge of the kids today. I need to just spend the day in my studio. So I have like a notepad here and my pen because I'm just going to write down some of the things that I want to get accomplished today. I have to film Ellie's fall video. But before I can do that, I want to do a couple of things. I want to change my shelf over here to be a little bit more fall. When I'm filming this, it's still like July, like we still have summer, but I just want to make that background just a little bit more fallish for the video because I am going to do a two camera filming for the LE video, which is something I've never done before for a review video, but I think it's going to be really neat. I also, this is a big undertaking, so I feel like today might not be the best day to do it, but I want to do it. I want to reorganize my swatch sticks. Uh, so I've talked about this before, but right now they're in rainbow order on my cart and I love the way they're organized on there, but I want to organize them by brand so that when I do review videos like this and I want to show like an LE color, I'm not looking through all of my reds from the different brands. I just have LE all in one container, Fusion all in one container, the other products that I use as well, but just everything has their own container instead of in rainbow order. I think that'll function a lot better for filming. I can see that functioning out very well for like working on clients, but for me for filming, that's my main purpose of those swatch sticks. And so it's just not functioning the way that I would like. So if I have that done before I can film the LE fall, I think it'll just function a little bit better. So that is something I'm gonna do as well. So I usually use like my big whiteboard planner back in my editing area for planning content and I did it for June and it worked so well. I did not do it for July and I wish that I would have. So I wanna make sure that I'm doing it for August cause August will likely be a busy month. Because it's a studio vlog, I'm just gonna show you random stuff as well. I've got some new changes in the studio, including a new cart back there that I'll give you guys a little tour on and just talk about a couple of um, haul things, Amazon things that I brought in as well because I know you guys like when I share those type of things. So let's get started on the studio vlog. We have a lot to try and get done today. Let's talk about carts, you guys. So obviously I have my big giant cart here. This is a Michaels Hudson cart. It houses all of my swatch sticks and lipstick organizers. And I have a whole video up setting up this cart that you can watch if you wanna see a tour and stuff of it. But let's organize my swatch sticks today because I just, I need to. It's just not functioning well for swatch videos. But this is a new addition to the nail studio. <laughs> it's another cart. This cart came from my daughter's nursery. I used it as a nursing cart for when she was really little and I just, I just haven't been using it. So I thought, what can I do with this cart? I would never get rid of carts because there's so many functions for them. And I thought I would bring it down here to use in the nail studio for another filming cart. This is more for the items that I use when I'm doing like swatch videos or demos or anything like that. Okay, on top I moved all of the things that were on my desk when I was filming and didn't have people coming into the studio. I basically put on this cart. So I have this organizer, which is from Nail Techniques. They haven't had this in stock for a really long time though, so I don't know if you can get it. But I just keep wipes in here, um, my Coco and Claire brush, some of my clear swatch sticks, which I need to order more of. I keep like these light elegant stiletto tips in here. These you would use on the hand if you were gonna build extensions. I have some of these from Glitter Bells too, but I don't use them very often because they won't slide into the wells of the hand very well. They are made to like be glued on to like an extension. So anyway, I just don't use these for the hand, but they're in there in case I need them. And then I have like a brush holder there. I also have, this is my Kate Spade ring holder that I use for my clients, but I literally never use it. So I just have some washi tape on it, which I use to tape down backgrounds and then I've got all of my rings here and oh and then these are the ugly duckling tips that I use all the time for video purposes down here I have a brush holder this brush holder is from Canada nail supplies but again I'm not too sure if they have it anymore a lot of this stuff I got a while ago so I don't know if they have any of these things anymore but I keep like all of my brushes that I use for filming down here and then these are some of the clear deli stamper tips that go on like the tip stand. This tray I just recently picked up at HomeSense and it fits really nicely in this cart for holding different things. Little holders that you would put like swatch sticks on for um, like demo purposes. 
Beauty Nails Fun uses these all the time. I'll insert one of her pictures here and I picked some of those up on Amazon to use for filming. I have all of my Coco and Claire basic products back here because I use them all the time for filming. I have my hand back here, which I'm so disappointed, you guys. I have two new hands coming that I was gonna use for the LE review video. They were supposed to be here yesterday and I don't have them. So anyway, we'll be using this hand for the review video. I keep my matte top gloss back here for filming as well. And then my Coco and Claire mattes again for filming. And then down here, this is a couple of new things as well that I haven't um, shared in a YouTube video. I bought some of these, uh, what are they called? Leg warmers for my hand to make it look like she's wearing a sweater. I'll use these for the LE video. And they came in a gray, they kind of like this taupey beige color, a black, and then a white as well. Um, and then I grabbed this stand that actually doesn't work very well. I was gonna clip my hand on it, but my hand is just too heavy and doesn't stay up very well in it, so I will likely end up using that for something else. And then I have my stand down here as well that I use when I do my nails, but. That is my new cart in the studio. So when I film, for like review videos or tutorial videos or anything like that. I have three carts that I sit beside me, which is a little ridiculous, but I use so many of the different items on these carts that I need to have them all kind of within arm's reach. Swatch stick reorganization. I think I'm just gonna do it here because I've got a pretty good surface. Let's just dive in, you guys. Let's just dive in. I think I'm gonna have an Ellie glitter and an Ellie color. And then Fusion can probably just have one on its own, depending on how many colors I have for it. But we'll see, that's my plan right now. Like look, these are all LE pink sparkles, all of them. Okay, so when you're doing big organization projects like this, it's going to get messy before it gets better. And you just have to ride that wave. Like right now, I'm second guessing all of my life's choices right now to do this, but I've been thinking about it for a really long time. Like I know this is something that I want to do, but just like right now it's, I keep thinking to myself, like, is this what I want to do? But I see the LE ones, like all of these over here are LE. So when I see those, I know it's the right thing because it's going to be so much easier for me to find the LE colors that I'm looking for. But then when I see all of these other brands with all the colors kind of mixed in with it, that's what makes me question things. I'm going to try it and worst case scenario, if it doesn't work out, I can always put it back. But because I've been wanting to change this for a while, I think it will function well. Okay, so now I have an empty container and this is where I'm gonna start to put my LEs in. So I'm gonna keep all of my glitters here and I'm gonna go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, neutral. So that will help me kind of decide. See if I can give you another one. This one goes there too. Okay, in that pile. And then this one goes in this pile right over here. Okay, thanks honey for your help. Okay, now you're done. See ya. Yes, you ever did it. You too, honey. Two glitter things done. And I'm ready to put everything in here, I think. So, okay, these are all Ellie Reds. Red sparkles. I don't know what they're gonna do for Christmas this year because I feel like they've done every single red sparkle they possibly can. This is exactly why I want to do this because usually when I'm looking through all my red sparkles, it's hard for me to find all of the different colors that let's say Ellie has launched. So I want them to all be in here. So it's easy for me to grab like this bunch when I'm gonna show you guys like Ellie's sparkles, let's say for their upcoming winter or fall collections. So these are all of my other brands that are not Fusion or LEs. It's kind of a mismatch in here. Like I feel like it looks, if you were to look at this, it would not look organized at all, but it is. <laughs> so I have Amore, I have Accents, which I don't have too many of a lot of these. I have Beanies, I have CNS gel paints. Uh, these are all in vogue in this entire row and they're kind of organized within their row. So here we have like the red, orange, yellow, greens, blue, purples, pinks, and then neutrals back here. And it's the same thing with on Vogue. So um, like your reds, your oranges, your greens, blues, purples, pinks, and then um, neutrals. And then here's all my jelly fits in one little one because I won't be ringing in any more jelly fits. 
I'm undecided about these staying here. These are Magic Gel, then I have some Mosaic, some Orly, and some Vetro back here. And then these are all my Ugly Duckling Sparkles back here. But there's room for other brands as well if I find more in here. But I think that's going to stay like that. Then Fusion. These are Fusion. It's all in rainbow order. This is the one I think that's gonna take the longest is organizing all of the colors. So let's dive in and just get it done. So I realized something in the whole process of this. Generally I film comparison videos for just LU and Fusion. The other ones are swatch videos. So those are the ones that need to have their own little bin, our Fusion and LE, because that's what I want to mostly compare to um, is those shades. And then when it comes to the other brands of stuff that I carry to feature in videos, it doesn't matter if all the brands are mixed together because it'll be easier to just grab like the red, you guys are gonna have to ignore my dog. It'll be easier to just grab the red category and be like, this is Jellyfit or this is Amore or whatever. So those ones I'm going to keep in rainbow order, which might seem kind of silly, but I, I was not liking the idea of these being all mismatched in here and then me grabbing like let's say on Vogue or Amore, um, Magic Gel, all of these ones for a video, like different categories to show in a video, it makes more sense, I think, to grab it like just one whole red category of the random other colors. In my mind, I feel like this will function a lot better and I'm like more at peace with it than what I was doing before. The only problem is now I have to sort these all again. Progress, you guys. I have all of my like other brands besides Ellie and Fusion organized in rainbow-ness. For Fusion here, I had originally separated them, but there's just not enough of them that I feel like I need to separate them. So I'm gonna move all of my colors into the sparkle one and then Fusion will just have one category. It's nowhere near as pretty as the rainbow did, but it's all about function, all about function. So Ellie sparkles, Ellie colors, Fusion sparkles and colors together. Uh, this is other brands of sparkles, other brands of colors and then other brands of neutrals, which I might even just move these neutrals into here. And then I have my Beamies back here um, and Coco and Claire will likely go back here as well. I actually, my Coco and Claire are just in another bin that need to be organized as well, but does not look as good, will function Took better. Me like two and a half hours to do. <laughs> so I really have to get on filming because I need to get that LE video done. So I'm gonna go upstairs and have a really quick lunch because I'm super hungry and cannot film when I'm hungry or else it just would not be a good idea. Then we're gonna get all set up to double camera film the Ellie Fall Collection video. I don't know you guys, I'm not the best at like decorating things. So we'll see how this looks when I film and if I don't like it then whatever, I'll change it around. Next thing I need to do is set up to double camera film. So. When I double camera film, this Archon mount for overhead shots, but I also have one that I like Archon mount here that attaches to. Okay, so there's double filming. It's also a lot more for filming and it's also a lot more to keep track of when I am filming for you guys. So now it's time to film the LE video. I don't think I've showed you guys the little bits of updates with things that I've done on my desk. Uh, this still needs to be untangled and I need to do that soon. I'm gonna just move my e-file out of the way because I don't need that for filming. And then I took everything off of here for like when I have people come in and do their nails. But I left this for like my alcohol, uh, polish remover, nail prep, and my wipes. And I really, really like this being on my desk. So that's staying there. I need this cart for filming, but I need this filming cart all over here ready to go. Swatch stick one for sure over here ready to go before i film obviously you guys can see that i changed my shirt um i'm just gonna put some cuticle oil on and then shine up my nails so that they look okay in the video lip gloss on when i do front filming i used to front film all the time like with my face i don't wear makeup as much as i used to so i tend to not do as much face filming but i know you guys like it and i like doing it too
finished filming the le fall video it took me i started about two it's just about five it took me just about three hours to film it and that's uh just how long review videos take sometimes they take a bit longer uh le and fusion take me the longest because it's the most colors and i do color comparisons and then i do cutaway shots and stuff but that's what i'm doing right now is just filming my cutaway shots for uh the video as well so i use these for mini clips i use these for end clips and beginning clips of videos and i have to wait until the videos filmed in order to do them so that's just what I'm quickly gonna do then I'm gonna tidy up and I just don't think I'm gonna have time for the couple other things that I wanted to get done today which is content planning for August and uh, placing a creative beauty and nail throne order hey guys welcome to another day on this vlog i'm just going to put two vlogs together so that today is august 6th so it is quite a few days later um as you can probably see maybe not i have not updated my calendar but that's on my to-do list today it's actually the middle of the week today you guys uh both my girls are now in childcare for um a little bit throughout the week so that i can get some video content done and that today is the first day that both of them are in so it's a little nerve-wracking uh because it's violet's first time like in childcare. but anyway i have like a to-do list of some things that i'd like to get accomplished so i've just finished replying to a bunch of comments on my yesterday's video which was my uh nail art haul from creative beauty so i was replying to comments on that which it's really important to me to reply to your guys's comments on my videos within a day or two i try to anyway like it's it's hard to keep up with all the things but I try to make sure that I'm responding back to you because that's one of my favorite things about social media is connecting with you guys so a couple other things on our list today we have some filming to get done I have some clear jelly stamper uh, new products and videos that I would like to get filmed um, to get them edited for this weekend and then content plannings we have a big update though I have decided to no longer work on my client's nails this was not an easy decision you guys know that like when everything kind of got shut down um i was like reassessing things and i decided to just take a few clients back i was just really unsure if i was going to be taking clients back but ultimately i decided to i miss my clients miss working on human hands and i wanted to give it a go and see how um it would work out with all of the things that i do and I'm just finding that me working on clients is taking away from the time that I could be creating content. I've had a lot more opportunities presented lately uh, for YouTube. It's flexible with my schedule with the girls. So ultimately, I went back to try and see if I could make it work to do all of the things. And I'm just finding I'm way too overwhelmed and I just can't. So I am keeping uh, like a friend of mine. I'm going to keep doing my mom's nails. Don't you guys worry about that. And then I have one client I'm keeping for filming purposes. Um, that's not to say that I won't be doing nail art and stuff. I have my three fake hands, which I need to show you guys those because I got a couple new ones in. I'll still be doing nail art on my fake hands and my filming client. But other than that, I am no longer working on clients. So that is a huge change. So the client that's in this evening, it is her last appointment with me. And I actually, I think I might film a tutorial on it. If she's not getting her nails removed, I might film a tutorial on it as well. But anyway enough rambling you guys we gotta get some stuff done because i gotta go pick the girls up soon let's talk about some things that are going on here so you guys saw me set up in my new cart uh but these weren't here when i was filming that vlog my new hands april hand that i have been using evelyn and then this is the lucy so i have a light medium and dark skin toned uh, hand from red iguana now so when I'm doing swatch videos, I can show you guys what the different colors look like on multiple skin tones. I'm really, really excited to bring that to my content. I also grabbed the three fingers that match, again, for uh, like swatch videos, because then I can just use the finger, or compilation videos. Sarah does these compilation videos that I just think are so fab, and I want to start doing them. So I wanted just the fingers for it as well. It's like my goal to have all of the fake hands, but the red iguana fake hands allow me to be able to create content for you guys and work with all the products that i have without having to work on people so i'm really excited about that i just did my desk is a mess like a mess when i got these new products in i quickly filmed a haul video for you guys 
Yesterday I had a bunch of new products arrive from the Nail Throne, so they are all here. And then I also had a bunch of glitter arrive from Glitter Boutique. So I did a bunch of stories and I plan to save all of this for hauls, but priority right now is to put this all away uh, so that I have some space to film some content as well as do my client's nails later tonight. set up to film this demo on these new plates from CJS. I just wanted to show you guys, I don't know if I've talked about this in a video before, what I use for my fake hand, but I use the Ugly Duckling tippies. You know what you guys, I have actually ordered a bunch of tips on Amazon to try and fit my hand because like I just go through these like crazy. So I'm like, well, I don't want to spend like a ton of money on fake hand or fake tips. That I just keep going through and you know what none of them are as good quality that I have tried for the hand unless you're gonna build like extensions and stuff I don't want to build extensions I just want this to like be ready to go so um, I just wanted to let you guys know that and I can let you know the sizes if you want what I use because I just keep them in my phone they're like kind of messed up you guys like my tips are all over the place here okay so seven is your pinky was sent to me from um, Ugly Duckling and it was nice because I was able to figure out what sizes worked for the hand by just playing around with all of the different tips that are in here and then I can just buy them individually uh, going forward for the tips. So um, your middle finger is your two and then your pointer is a four pointer and then your thumb is a zero which I do have zero in here um, for the stiletto shape, but for the tapered square shape, I don't have zero in the container. So I had to buy the zero ones because the zero fits better than the one. The one fits too, you just have like a little bit of like an overhang over here, which I don't personally love. But anyway, if you guys were wondering what tips I'm using for my red iguana hands, it's the Ugly Duckling ones. They just work so well for it. content for August. And I usually divide this one over here for nail studio to do or projects in the nail studio. I haven't been utilizing it, so I'm just not going to worry about that today. But I'm not going to tell you guys what content is coming up. If you watched my Creative Beauty nail art haul, you know some of the nail art videos that are coming up, but um, there's gonna be some organization, there's gonna be some studio vlogs, the usual jazz. So I'm not gonna share with you what's going in here and I'm actually gonna end the video right now because I've got a couple other things to do in the nail studio while I'm down here. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.